that. We're just walking through the park, singing these crazy notes. Talent coming out of her actual pores. Hello and welcome. So today I'm gonna be reacting to Boomerang by Yeva. So I'm pretty new to this artist. I've heard her voice before, but I've never actually sat down and like listened to it. Um, and my friends have told me I need to listen to Boomerang the live performance. So that's what I'm gonna be doing. Um, live performances are my favorite because they really show like the true voice of the artist um, without all of the extra added studio effects. So I'm really excited. I'm really excited to go on this journey with you. So let's dive in. Okay. If I shoot him in the stomach. Whoa. Then he's hurting on my dime. <laughs> If I shoot him in the head, then he's dead and he's living on my mind. Ah, okay, so like right out the gates, I'm like, where is she in her vocal register? This is like not like a super connected chest voice. It's not really like head voice. This feels like this sort of like mix space, but it's still really connected. And then there's this like quality to her voice that I'm struggling to find a word for. It's almost like ethereal. And then she's doing these little flippy run things that are just hard to execute and sound incredible. Let's keep going. My reflection in the mirror. Huh? Her perfection in his eyes. eyes. <laughs> I'm a danger to myself. I run from 12 and take my rage across the county line. So like some of the like the tonal qualities remind me a little bit of Adele, but completely unique to this voice at the same time. And it's like early in the song already, and I already know that there's an incredible amount of control and power in this voice that I haven't heard yet. So I'm really excited. Oh, oh, oh. There it is. Did you hear that little bit of distortion? So we had like a belt and then we had a mix and then we had the distortion that kicked in after that. I always wonder, like, is she putting that on? Is she going, okay, I'm gonna mix, I'm gonna belt, and then I'm gonna add some distortion right here on this note? Or is this just naturally occurring in her voice as she's singing the song? It's kind of like what came versus the chicken or the egg sort of a moment. Anyways, let's keep going. Get your pride, slay your name, how bad it's sorrow, what you, what you done to me? She is she is expertly, I was trying to mix the word expertly with effortlessly, effort, effortlessly. Oh my gosh. So she's moving through her registers. So your my ear is never settling. I'm always extremely um, entertained or engaged with what she's doing because it's not like we're singing all here in a sweet voice or we're singing all here in a like a just belt. It's different all the time. It's gonna come back like a boomerang. So we've got this darker tone, and then we got the, the brighter tone all on one word, boomerang. So, I mean, that was not pretty at all, but you, you get what I'm saying. Let's back that up and listen to that again, because one word, and we're on a journey. One word. It's gonna come back like a boomerang. Rang. And then there's these like little runs in there, but the beginning of the word was more like darker with a slightly lower larynx. Ooh, so good. Woo! Oh, okay. Woo! So we're like low and now we're like ah, ah. Oh now I'm gonna have to go and challenge myself with this song because this sounds like a lot of fun to sing. So this is another really great example of the command that she has over her voice. So for most singers, those those notes are like that's too high. They're not even in consideration unless you're a classical singer. But she's just like, oh I'll just throw it in this this pop song I'm doing. My daddy didn't like you no from the moment you two met. Too well you would drag me through hell and never come back for the baby we'd regret. Yeah. Oh, 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 but I won't let this go. Not by tomorrow. Don't forget your pride. Laying in a bit of sorrow. What you want? What you done to me? I don't even want to talk because I'm not saying something because the vocal is so good. I, there's nothing, there's no straining. It's just, it's style. It's a beautiful command of her voice. I'm backing that chorus up one more time because we need to, what I want you to listen for is 
Where do you hear her sound more like she's in chest voice and more of a belty texture? And then when do you feel like she's moving out of that more compressed sound and, and freeing it up a little bit? Like it's so smooth that it's hard to hear unless you're paying attention. Oh, oh, oh. Belty? There. I also have to make mention that the melody of this song, I called it pop earlier, I wouldn't really call this pop, but the melody of this song is not easy. Like it's moving in ways that are not what we're used to hearing so much in standard pop music. So what I'm trying to say is like to actually stay pitch accurate and stay on this melody, if you were to go learn the song, you'd be like, oh shoot, what's, where's the notes? What, what is happening? It, this is <laughs> not simple. Oh, here we go again. She's not just hitting high notes, she's singing runs on the notes. And there's no tension happening in her voice. She doesn't, it's like just like a day, we're just walking through the park singing these crazy notes. Okay. Some scatting. <laughs> Notice how she is using her body language. Like she's very connected to the moment she's in, but there's something to be said um, when you're performing. You know, the way you move your body actually impacts the way you use your voice. So keep that in mind. So she's like light there, and then she comes back in like with more compressed sound, and it's so good. <laughs> and that's the end. I just want to listen to it like 30 more times. Oh my gosh! So this is like, this is this is an example of a singer that's just like naturally just talent coming out of her actual pores. Um, so of course there's got, I mean, imagine there's hundreds of hours of honing her craft, but there's also this natural skill and ability and. It, it, when you listen to a song that's just so engaging and so like it just makes you want to move and you get goosebumps and it just feels effortless, that's like, <laughs> that artist has put in the work. So I think I will be listening to more of Yaba. If you want an example of what a, basically a perfect voice is, I would be listening to this one. Um, this is like balance, it's command of range, it's command of style, it's vocal dexterity, it's all of the things. Um, so I'm gonna be putting it on my playlist. Please share with me what your favorite songs or performances by her are, because I wanted, I wanna just like disappear into the world of Yabba for a little while. So your recommendations would be greatly appreciated. Um, if you have any questions, um, this is for the singers out there. If you have any questions about your voice specifically, um, if you're on your singing journey um, and you need some help, I've got your back. Please take advantage of the free seven day trial for Singio below this video. You can send us videos of you singing to get feedback. You can take advantage of all of our lessons on vocal style and technique. Um, so go take advantage of that. Most of all, happy singing and I'll see you around.